parties are usually occasions for celebration. But sometimes things can go terribly wrong, turning the smiles of party guests as well as those of others into expressions of shock and sadness. From home fireworks ending in disaster to terrifying gunfights, here are 50 instances when a party didn't end as planned. Imagine receiving a phone call to tell you that the million dollar property you'd put up for sale was being illegally occupied by up to 100 people. Incredibly, for one homeowner in Arizona, that phone call was a reality. Police were called to this upscale neighborhood after a concerned neighbor raised the alarm. Music, lights, and loud voices were all coming from the garage of the property that was supposed to be vacant. They are under contract. Their dad is under contract for the house in the corner over there, Phil Ramos. This house belongs to Linda Elmer. Linda, somebody broke into your house and they're throwing a party in the backyard. I got the cops over here, but they won't go back there. Yes. Is that her? Here, here they are. Here's the cops. As it turns out, Someone had noticed the for sale sign out front and decided it was the perfect venue for a pop-up party. A few posts on social media later, and the garage was popping all right, complete with a live band. In a state of disbelief, police soon got rid of the unwanted guests who were lucky not to be prosecuted for trespassing. The more of the story, think twice before putting your house up for sale and leaving it unguarded. Here, that other one at least secures. Now, that's one thing to defend your own property, but what do you do when you don't like the party going on next door? Well, don't be like this Karen and rain on the parade. Maybe she's just a fan of the band Wet Wet Wet, but I doubt it. <laughs> Man, I wish I would You want me to show the police? The police? <laughs> Either way, as soon as the police were called, this Karen stepped down. Literally. Parties in Montreal are on a different level. At least the one being held upstairs in this clip is about to be once they break on through to the other side. Oh my god. It's both terrifying and mesmerizing at the same time. The guy really needs to get out of there. Oh my god.
lighting a sparkler indoors isn't the smartest decision. And these people are about to find out why. <laughs> that brings a whole new meaning to lighting up the Christmas tree. Who knew they burned so quickly? But seriously, these party goers are lucky they are able to remove the tree and nobody was seriously injured. <laughs> Even when the tree's burning outside, it's still a hazard, especially with drunk people around. Pro tip, if you have a fire extinguisher in your house, make sure you know how to use it. I did. I got it. I got the whole thing. I got the whole thing. Do we need to find a comment or not? Fireworks are no joke. These guys must not have secured them or appointed them correctly because after lighting the fuse, sparks fly in the directions of humans all around, including small children. But the worst is yet to come. The remaining box of fireworks soon catches a light, leading to a series of almighty explosions that last for over 15 seconds. This is why you should never leave the supply of fireworks exposed or close to the one that's being lit. Graduation is a perfectly valid excuse for a party. But the lady in this clip doesn't seem to think so. I'm going to assume her name is Karen as well. No! sure what exactly she's angry about but she is fuming and proceeds to call the police you have to hope that the cops side with the students and their parents on this one Top your head. Police officers also like to party, and they're no less immune to things going wrong. The man being arrested in this clip is a police sergeant who claims to have been on the force for 35 years. Put your hands up! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Turn around, hands behind your back. Stop right there. He uh, got out of the truck, yep. What's up? Down, down on your knees. Just give us a second. Get down on your, put your hands behind your back. 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 All right, Doss, move up. 
You're... Put your hands up! You put... put your hands up! Still in his Halloween costume, he refuses to put up his hands and cooperate first. You'd think he knows the law by now. Keep your hands I think it's a pen. You're gonna get tased. Keep your hands out of your pocket! After several minutes of back and forth, the arresting officers finally managed to cuff him. Well then you gotta listen. I know. Then why didn't you listen? <laughs> Yeah. Don't blame me. I'm not going to. I swear to God, there's nobody in my truck. Hello, sir. I'm not going to fight you. Listen to me. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you. I swear to God. Well, you got to listen to us, man. I'm trying to. Please help me. Thirty-two. We got one. Okay. 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 Well, then you gotta listen. I know. Yeah, why didn't you listen? Yeah. Don't blame me. Hey, ma'am, 32, I'm with them. Let's get out of the ring. Dude, I'm not oh, gonna fight. Let's get out of the ring. I'm not worried about you fighting now. Well, I'm not going to. I don't want to do this. You anything, do you have a gun no, or anything on I have you? nothing on me. The ghoulish looking sergeant explains that he got into an argument with his wife. My wife and I were at a party. We had an argument. All right. Have That's all it is. That's all it is. All it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Did you, oh, God, God. Did you Later, we learn that his wife had called 911 because the sergeant was drunk, refused to leave her alone, and was possibly armed. Yikes, it's scary to think that this guy was ever in charge of anything, let alone the police. The problem with parties is that people who aren't invited tend to get a little bit salty. As seen here, one family is celebrating a birthday having put out tables and laid on food when two young women approach and, for some unknown reason, decide to end things early for them. Wow. After asking the family to move in a very passive aggressive tone, one of the women starts pulling at the table with no regard for the people sitting there or the food which spills onto the floor. The second woman then throws a chair and they've officially taken the happy out of happy birthday. Okay, that's okay. Levántese, levántese. The surprise party was surprising in more ways than one. As the birthday boy enters, he pulls a gun. Before quickly realizing the people in his house aren't intruders, they're friends and family. Oops. A wedding should be one of the happiest and most memorable days of your life. For this groom, I doubt he'll remember any of this at all. He is so drunk that the best man is having to hold him up. He can't answer any questions and even when it comes to putting the ring on his beloved's finger as well as his own, 
he needs help with that too. I feel sorry for the bride, but it must have been one heck of a bachelor party. There are many clips of gender reveals gone wrong, but none is more tragic than this one. In Mexico, as a couple and their friends celebrate the release of pink smoke to signal the arrival of a girl, the plane that released the smoke suffers a deadly malfunction. Captured from multiple angles, you can see one of his wings collapse before the plane nosedives to the ground. Sadly, the pilot didn't make it. One new life is celebrated, while another life is wiped out within the same clip. It was 3 a.m. in Adams County, Denver, when a neighbor's camera captured a horrifying scene that happened at a house party across the road. As teenagers spill out of the house into the street, a blue SUV drives past and several gunshots can be heard. Some in the crowd attempt to shoot back, but in a matter of seconds, the car is gone. The third biking suspect vehicle is a 2000 blue Chevy Tahoe GMC Yukon unknown direction of travel. The neighbor reported hearing more than 20 shots fired. He also revealed that the car had driven past the house multiple times before the shooting. Just be advised, Adams County is working in GSW with at least seven victims. Tragically, the incident left seven teens injured and took the life of one more. If you want floating balloons at your birthday party, make sure they're filled with helium and not flammable gas. Otherwise, this might happen. The birthday girl probably won't want to light another candle for as long as she lives. Parties can be brought to an end for all sorts of reasons. Back in 2020, COVID was the enemy of parties. Hello, are you the property owner? No, but I'm Judge White. Are you? Did someone call in? They did. Who called in? Uh, right. What was her name, Meg? Mm, maybe. I hate um, girl. Okay, what do we have to do? Who's, who's the property owner? Um. I don't see her right now. Can you Can try and look? Me? Huh? Can we no, we okay. can't. Oh. Okay, come here. When police received a complaint about a large gathering at the home of a women's basketball coach, Kami Etheridge, the officer who responded almost felt like he was the guilty one. Hey. Kami. Okay. You're the property owner, apparently. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Do you live here? I do. Okay. I might if I just chat with you for a second. So we had somebody call in. Um, 
about not social distancing and the gathering and stuff like that. So, okay. you know, we're, we're taking an education approach the best way we can. Um, unfortunately, our directive is to write tickets to those who aren't abiding by that because there's been a massive public outcry and we're doing that with all the students up on the hill and things like that. Um, is there any way we could go about can we having mass and social distancing sure. and stuff like that because it's gatherings over 10. Sure, it's everybody in the neighborhood so we can just tell everybody if, to go get their masks. So, yeah. so what if, what if we, um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you the same advice I give everybody else, okay? okay? Um, we're pretty much in between a rock and a hard place when it comes to the community and stuff like that. The, really the key is out of sight, out of mind. So, um, backyard or in the house would definitely be better because um, every, with everybody out front, cars passing by, I know it's not a well-traveled road by any means, yeah. but ultimately it's kind of where we're at with everything. Okay. He advised that due to social distancing rules, he would have to break things up and give the homeowner a ticket plus a $150 fine, but also admitted that he didn't like being the party police. Okay. So, um, I really do appreciate you guys making it better and doing all this kind of stuff. Based on the guidance we were given and being um, in violation, I got to give you a ticket today. I hate to do it, okay. I'll be honest, but I do have to do it okay. Um, so just to guide you through, it's going to be what's called for a, for a nuisance party. It's an infraction. It's like getting a traffic ticket, okay? okay. Um, and I'll explain it to you and give you some options on that ticket. Essentially, it's, um, it's a fine. The officer advised the partygoers to stay out of sight, out of mind in the future, lest someone else report them for having fun. Geez, I'm glad those times are over. I'll leave you with this. Okay. I hope you have a better rest of your day. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you. If you guys want to do stuff in the future, my suggestion is inside or backyard, out of sight, out of mind completely. Thanks. Have a better rest of your day, okay? Brazil, these partygoers wanted to welcome the new year with a bang, but they got more than they bargained for. Well, it still looks pretty, but the sound is deafening and it would be a miracle if nobody was injured by the explosion. In fact, some reports suggest that as many as seven people receive burns from it. Ouch. In 2023, more than 200 teens attended a house party in the Baytown area of Houston, Texas. A fight broke out, which then escalated to a shooting. As people ran for their lives, three teens ended up getting shot while another was trampled. Thankfully, they all survived. The mother of one of the boys who was shot still keeps his bullet-torn t-shirt as a reminder of how lucky her son was that night. I never, 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 never would I ever think that my 15-year-old would have got shot. I'm keeping it to remember that how blessed he was to show him. He was shot in the shoulder while attempting to flee. Echoing the words of the mother, it's sad and scary how so many people resort to gun violence to solve their disputes these days. Maybe you need to stop and think before you act because you can ultimately change somebody's life forever. And I'm so blessed that my son's still alive because and to sustain the injuries that he did are minor compared to some, and I'm blessed for that. There's another reminder of the dangers of inflatable balloons, fire, and gender reveal parties. The text reads, congratulations, it's a dragon. We're only here for a noise complaint. Come to the damn door. Finally!
When police officers were called to address a noise complaint in the city of Moscow in Idaho, they had no idea how important the routine house call would become a few weeks later. It's here right now. So where'd they go? They're just not here. I have no clue where they went. No clue. So you guys just throwing a party in in, in their house at the time? They were here at one point. They're not here right now. I just I they, just searched all the rooms. They left and went over to some other party, and everyone is about to I leave just and searched go all over to another party. Okay. In the footage, the officers arrive on scene and speak to two young men. The men explain that the people who live in the house aren't actually there at the moment, and the people inside are just there to party. What sorority are they affiliated with? I don't know. I don't, yeah, you I don't do. Know I don't know if they're associated with the... I don't know. So I guarantee you they're associated with the sorority. As many of them are living here, it's an off-campus campus sorority house. I've been a cop for 22 years here. I'm not stupid. Don't play dumb games with me. I would rather deal with this as a noise complaint than getting a hold of the Greek Council and the Greek Board and all of that and the, and the students and playing all these stupid games. Do you, all I want to do is deal with the noise complaint. Question. Needing to speak to one of the residents, an officer eventually manages to contact Madison Mogan via telephone. She confirms that she lives there and that the party goers are not trespassing. Hi, this is Officer Walsh, Moscow Police Department. Who am I speaking with? Maddie, one second. Let me turn the volume up on on this uh, on this phone here. All right, can you hear me, Maddie? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. However, less than six weeks after this phone call, Madison would be one of four students murdered in that very same house. A suspect has since been arrested and charged with the four killings, as well as one count of felony burglary. On the 19th of February, 2022, officers were called to a wedding after receiving reports of an irate and possibly drunk guest. Supposedly, the guest was being violent and had already pushed two people to the floor of the ballroom. Hi, yes, I'm at 1050 West North Boulevard, Winter Park Event Center. I have a very irate, um, drunk guest. He has no shirt on. He's on the outside of the building. He's trying to beat people up. He's yelling. He's okay, very okay. drunk. Hey, you're, you're, yeah. you're giving me way too much. You're at 1050 West Morris at the Winter Park Event Center. There's an intoxicated guest there. Is that correct? Yes, he's being violent. Is he white, black, Hispanic? He's white, maybe Hispanic. Um, he has a black, white beater on. Okay, black tattoos. Pants. Tattoos, anything else? Sorry, uh, black pants and a black shirt. Sorry, what's your else? Is he with this party? Does he have a weapon? No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's getting bad. So they're, they're just saying for me to move away because people are making him mad. Anybody of authority is making him angry. When officers arrived, the suspect in question had already been escorted outside. The man, identified as 39 year old Daniel Knight, was the uncle of the bride. He's our brother. 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 He's our Hey, hey, let it go. Hey, 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 get away from him. According to official reports, when the officers tried to talk tonight, he became aggressive and physically attacked one of them, leaving the officer unconscious. He also tried to attack the second officer, and after attempting to use a taser to stop Knight, which was ineffective, the second officer shot Knight with his handgun. In the footage, seven shots can be heard. Daniel Knight did not survive. Both officers were taken to the hospital to be checked, and the officer who shot Knight was placed on administrative leave. In a statement, lawyers working on behalf of the Knight family said, the only thing the video establishes is that Daniel Knight did not deserve to die.
What do you think? What's going on? I thank know you were a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. take your time. Yeah, thank you. Sure you don't want something to no, I'm, I'm all right. Back. Yeah, I'm okay. He's I'm all right. He hit me too. He, 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 yeah, he, yeah, he got he, he, he knocked me out. He knocked me out. He knocked you out. Yeah, he knocked me out, man. You need to go away. You go away. don't know why this guy thought jumping into a fire pit would be a good idea, but clearly his efforts to show off turned out worse than he could have ever imagined. The party's over. Time for a trip to the hospital and weeks of agonizing recovery. People in this next clip also rented out a home, this time an oceanfront house in Malibu, California. It would have been the perfect retreat if only the deck outside hadn't collapsed, injuring 12 people. <laughs> Neighbors had already alerted the owner that a large crowd had gathered at the house meant for just six people. The rental agreement is very specific. It's six persons at all times, at all times. And no parties and events are allowed. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Maria. We'll try and get everybody out of here. She claimed she spent three hours pleading with the guests to leave and had called the police prior to the deck collapsing. But the guests didn't listen, and many paid a heavy price as they plunged into the jagged rocks waiting below. Maybe next time these partygoers will pay more attention to the rules, which are there for a reason. This guy was hyping up the crowd, clearly preparing them for something special. But it was his friend who stepped in that's about to get a painful lesson in physics. Remember, liquids and laminate flooring are a slippery combination. After anointing the ground with his holy beer, he jumps around like a madman and suddenly face plants, taking a blow to his face and his pride. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Complaint for gross sexual imposition, felony of the third degree, case number 2023CRA 03777. Okay, warrant on a complaint, take it down to jail. The monster being arrested here won't be having any more parties outside prison for a long time. 60 year old Montel Cecil allegedly ran a party house where he would invite minors over to swim in his pool and stay the night. Hidden cameras, which Cecil had installed himself, captured the sickening events that took place, which led to him being charged with no less than 44 sex crimes. The horrors came to light on November 17, 2023, when a 10-year-old girl found a picture of herself on Cecil's phone. She was asleep and not wearing any clothes. Police found this image and subsequently took Cecil into custody. Last we know, he's being held on a $1 million bond. Alright, we're a far right cruiser, okay? Thank you. Yep, thanks. You just walk it for time, just empty everything out. Yeah, I'll go get you Should be it. Oh, fuck.
be hard to see at first. The officer in this clip is about to shed light on the devastation caused by a house party in Arapahoe County, Colorado. Get out! Get out! He walks through the property checking for anyone who might be injured before going down to the basement where it soon becomes apparent that all is not as it should be. The living room floor has completely collapsed under the weight of too many people. From above, we can finally see the level of destruction. See anyone under there? I'm not, sir. I'm trying to just go Hey, you see anyone under here? No. All right. Hey, can you go upstairs? Hey, can you go upstairs? Yeah, I'm just looking for stuff in there. All right. Well, hey, we got. I got to get you guys out. Okay. Once everyone has been evacuated, the officer informs the fire crew that he can smell gas. Then, upon re-entering the property, he also tells another person that there's smoke coming from the basement. I don't know, he was just in here just a minute ago, but I don't know where he's at. That's going to be one expensive repair bill. Hey, there's, there's smoke coming from down there, bro. So, just so you know. The party is just getting started at this ski resort in France. Why are there people dressed as carrots? I don't know, but one of them is about to become the main villain. He throws a carrot to the MC on stage, but it misses the guy and presumably hits the power source, immediately cutting off the music. It's pretty fun, and I'm sure this carrot got pulled up for his actions afterwards. going on? We're just trying to make sure she doesn't drive home. All right. Okay. Well, then that's very nice of them. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you, babe. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. That's Do you know her? Yes. So I'm the assistant principal. Um, we're here having our end of year celebration. Um, one of our other assistant principals was her supervisor, and she had to let her go this year. And so when she saw her, she start, got very upset, started punching her truck, saying she wanted to kill her. And she's like, she, I think she's saying her emotion. Emotion. Right, right, right. right. Um. End of year staff parties can often be full of drama, but for one former teacher in Florida, she went a little too far when it came to blowing off steam. Officers were called to this parking lot after reports of a drunk ex-school employee being disruptive and abusive. When they arrived, they were informed that the woman had just been fired from her job as a teacher and she had gone to confront her ex-boss at the party. I'm not. Hey, well, you don't got to throw your water. No, I have to. What's going on? Talk to me. Because I tried to go in there and talk to a fucking principal. What happened? Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it matters to me. I'd like to know. He's an asshole. I want to try and help you out a little bit here. I'm not driving. I know. But I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, that's all. Yeah. And now I'm going to be the bitch. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. I'll not at all. The officers talk to her in a calm manner, trying to get her to go home. However, the woman doesn't want to comply with instructions and instead starts to threaten the officers. Hey, 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 that's not your car, remember? No, I'm not It's not your car. Oh! It's not yours. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Stop. But you go to jail. Stop. You know I haven't done nothing wrong. But you can't hit on somebody else's car. That's not I don't yours. I care. She does it again. She goes to jail. Ma'am. Ma let's let's not do that. Ma'am. Hey. Mom. Hey, look at me. Ma'am. Look at Mom. me, this is your last chance, look at me. Mom. Hey. Can you look at me real- I'll F you up, she tells one of them repeatedly. 
She is warned but continues to be hostile. You get to go home and then just do whatever you want to do the rest of the day. Right? Yeah. So just listen to me. All so, right. so I'm let's the calm. person Can you just hear that me? gets I, I hear you. I hear you, but please don't strike the vehicle anymore or I'm going to have to take you, okay? Mom. What, are you threatening me? Mom. I don't know if you are. Patricia, come on. All right, can we just relax, please? We're giving you a little help you out. Come on. Relax. He's threatening a police officer. You want to go to jail, ma'am? No, I want to f*** up. Ultimately, the officers arrest her, but the woman continues to resist and even starts screaming as they put her in the back of the cop car. Take this off for you. Yeah. Put her back. Come on. Put your hands right here. Hey. Don't oh. me. Stop. Come on. Don't me. You're making this way worse. I'm not. Let stop. 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 Let go. Don't me. Let go, please. Stop. Please stop. Don't me. Ma'am, let go. Calm down. Seeing how she acted, it's probably a smart decision for the school to let this teacher go. Let go. I will give it to her. Let go. Let it go. Only Miss Felicia. Okay, okay. Let it go. Stop. Only Miss Felicia. Let it go. Let's let it go, baby. There I'm right here. Got it? No, no. I got you. Gosh. Police took a no-nonsense approach when they arrived to shut down an illegal rave being held at a railway arch in Knightsbridge, London. Up to 300 people were in attendance at the party, which was in severe breach of COVID-19 regulations. This happened in 2021. As a result, more than 15,000 pounds worth of fines were handed out. Some partygoers got into deeper trouble when they refused to go quietly and started fighting with police, leaving two officers injured. When you are in a public place, like a holiday resort as this event seems to be, and the music is too loud for you, maybe move somewhere else. This woman seems to think she can spoil everybody's fun, going so far as to even try to turn the music off herself. Thankfully, the staff aren't having any of it and block her path to keep the party going. Nothing brings an end to a party faster than a gunfight. York Regional Police released this footage from Ontario, Canada in 2019. It shows multiple gunmen firing at the residential area where a house party is taking place. The shootout lasts for almost a full minute with many bullets reportedly entering the home, but luckily, no one was injured. It's unclear if the shooting was gang-related or if they just didn't like the host's music. margaritas i don't want any tacos what i want is i want to be considered where are you from how long you been here or you can just come shut my street down and don't don't tell me you're having a party or nothing this is my home and i would love where are you from to this street ain't your home it is. where are you from i'm from here you're not from this street i live in my great-grandmother's house you're a 
a lie. Where are you really from? Now you're running. This woman thought she could block off an entire public street for a party without telling her neighbors. The man behind the camera was clearly upset because his relatives were no longer able to get to his house. After several minutes of arguing, I know you weren't raised here. Be real with me if you really want to hang with me. Where are you from? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now we can begin a basis of communication. I don't know where it'll go, but I'll calm down now. I would like you to calm But you didn't come like you wanted to be. See? I came. I walked. You came on a false premise. You're from here. I had to break you down from that. But you're really from Arkansas. I walked all the way over here. Why weren't we notified you were going to shut our street down? I pay more property tax than anybody here. I can't get through here. It's a one way, sweetie. I am. I called the police already. I'm waiting on them. My kids to get run over. Yeah, and permit. You don't got no and white privilege here, Arkansas. The woman takes no accountability, even flashing her backside at the cameraman. My elderly neighbors are calling me talking about they can't get through. We know what you was from the jump, you. Hey, hey, listen, Mr. Big Mouth. Look, your privilege is extinct. Please. Your privilege is extinct. Get the other party goers step in to add fuel to the fire, all while waiting for the police to show up. Well, what authority did we gotta ask you to move on the street? You trifling, 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 shut her down. When they do, the cameraman requests that the woman be cited for blocking off the road. With their personal car, I want them cited. I got the car on video. I live at 1733 North Dersenwald. Yeah, I did. Meet me at my house. I, yeah, I want to file. I want her cited. She took her personal car and blocked the f street to where my neighbors start calling me from everywhere. I can prove everything I'm saying. And they don't got no permit, nothing. Then she come down here and tell me this is her neighborhood and she's from here. And I'm in my great grandmother's house. I know better. And so I say, you're not from here. And she start talking shit. And so I start cussing their asses out. But I ain't threat nobody or nothing. I got every encounter on tape. You're at 1733. Yeah. Thank you. The situation could have been dealt with a lot more peacefully from both sides. But who do you think was in the wrong here? Shut it down. Why? You're not allowed to have this. It's COVID. Why we're in front of the same house? Hi. I'm, I'm recording all of you. I'm okay. Like, I can record you coming. too. Right here. Do I, it. I can record you too. The neighbor approaching in this clip attempted to shut down a party during the pandemic, citing COVID restrictions. Either. Don't be coming over here with a attitude. You could be nice about it. You ain't got to come over here and act like a. The woman behind the camera informs her that they are all from the same household while pointing out that the neighbor has invaded their space without wearing a mask herself. A war of words ensues, with swearing and insults exchanged before the neighbor storms off. Fat all day, but I'll still look better than your ass. I'll be fat all day, and I'll still look better than your ass. Yeah, sh damn sure. Damn sure. Party people one, neighbor zero. What's up, guys? Who lives here? Comfort disabled, Millican Road, Yankee Road, called out on fire by Battalion 110. Here's another party that took place during COVID, only this time the host was definitely in the wrong. Upon speaking to the police officer, the homeowner states that eight people live there, to which the officer informs him they can only have two guests according to restrictions. This is if you have eight people in the house, then it means you can really only have two people over. Two over? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can get everyone it's out. kind of yeah. handcuffed here, you know what I mean? Yeah. How many people are in the house? Uh, I, like 10 of them just came by, but they're leaving. They're going somewhere else. So, 20. 20 people inside? Yeah, you might want to start clearing them out, man. Yeah, that's fine. Please, I'm, yeah. I'm going to wait right here. The homeowner reveals that, in fact, they had 10 guests and agrees to move them on straight away. It turns out these guys are students and the officer says they could each be liable to a $500 fine. 
and that this information could get back to the university they attend. And also kind of how it reads is anybody that's here participating and or hosting, I can, I can cite with the mass gathering. And it's a $500 fine, and then the university is going to find out about it, and that's probably going to be your real problem. But that's not where this story ends. After checking some details on his police computer, the officer calls the host over to his vehicle where we find out the host recently tested positive for COVID. Unbelievably, the student admits that he's supposed to be in quarantine and that's why he's at home. He claims that everyone has COVID and the officer is left in a state of disbelief. There's an, I've never seen this before. There's an input on the computer that you tested positive for COVID? Yes. When was this? This was on a week ago. Are you supposed to be quarantining? Yeah, that's why I'm at my house. Do you have other people here and you, you're positive for COVID? You see the problem? Yeah. I mean, These guys may be students, but their actions are pretty dumb. You know how but to we use have that. the same right. Do it. Bye, Karim. Bye. 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 You know what? In America, Bye. we speak English. So? We don't have to listen to that? Who say 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 that? Can you speak Can you speak Spanish? I'm just going to tell you what, senor. This American woman was clearly not a fan of Mexican music and tried shutting down the party at a public park. She proceeds to go on a racist rant, mocking their Mexican accents, telling them that their music isn't American, and saying they should speak English. Donald Are you drunk? Don't want to hear this f***ing crap. And well, we all don't want to hear you. to do is fish. All we want to do is fish. Go oh, and fish. We can't, because all we hear is your goddamn you don't hear music. Do you fish with your hands? Shut <laughs> You know oh, how to Jesus use them? Jesus Christ. But I have to tease you. What an asshole. I have to tease you. <laughs> what an you asshole. are the asshole. Oh, God. No, you we don't fish home, with okay? our hands. Americans fish with poles, and they don't have to hear this goddamn okay, music bye -bye. while they're fishing. Time. Time's off. We want silence. Time's off. Fishing if you want silence, go to, to your home silent. and close your mouth. The cameraman calls her a Karen and shuts her down at every opportunity before the music starts playing again. You know what? Karen. Okay. Tacos <laughs> and a margarita. <laughs> margarita. Oh, wow. Bye. Bye. Puerto Rico is much The woman eventually wanders off and that mercifully brings an end to a sad state of affairs. Bye. Bye. I think it's an open heart. Oh, I don't want to go on. Okay, let's hear you do whatever the hell you want. How about you? When you're whatever I want, I'm not playing your Bye. 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 Adios. 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 And you go home before your ancestors came here. A family in Florida were enjoying a girl's first birthday, but were left feeling deflated when the bouncy castle collapsed, trapping 12 small children inside. Two of the kids had to be taken to the hospital after being pulled out from under the heavy plastic. Why did it deflate? Well, when the homeowner checked her security cameras, she found that her nasty neighbor had unplugged the generator on purpose. Police suspect he may have been trying to unplug the music system, but either way, he was determined to ruin a young girl's birthday. That's a whole new level of evil. On social media, another neighbor described the culprit as a grumpy old man and a piece of trash who dared to ruin the birthday party for a princess. Sounds accurate. What do you think? Let's get a video. Okay, we'll take a picture of you too. Dude, I got a, I my first Karen. Picture of you too. Literally walked into my house. I know I'm walking to your house. It's amazing. The woman seen here broke new ground, not to mention trespassing laws, when she entered her neighbor's house to try to stop their party. She's lucky that the guy responded calmly, or it could have ended much worse. Why do you hate We're music so much? Third floor. Because you guys have been doing this all the time. Hey, you know, you could have just knocked on the door, rang the doorbell, we would have turned around. Oh, no, 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 we did. We did. You guys didn't hear it. 
and that was the direction you chose to take this. Thank no, you. It Have is a great night. You chose to take it. What's your name? Which house is yours, Miss Trespasser? The woman claims that she knocked on the door at first, but the people inside didn't hear her. This is BMW. Ooh, she's got a Beamer. We can get the plates. She soon retreats to her car, though, and the man follows with the intention of capturing her number plates on camera. Busted. Got him. In 2023, the Maricopia Police Department released some entertaining footage from an incident that took place at the lakes at Rancho El Dorado in Arizona. When they showed up to the location, they found a group of young adults, including teenagers, having a party in an empty house. Get your ass down now! Down! Okay. Everybody, down okay. on your belly! Okay. If I have to repeat myself, someone's taking a ride with a taser. I got four females in the backyard. The police didn't waste any time. They swooped in and rounded up 16 partygoers, the youngest of whom was 15 years old. As they burst into the house, you can see the teenagers scrambling everywhere, and one guy tries to make a break for it before getting zapped with a taser in the garage. Get on the ground! Get off the ground now! Everybody! Oh, I didn't do anything! Get off the ground! 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 Get but these guys will probably think twice before crashing an empty house for a party in the future. But here's, so here's the problem that I've got, is we've got open containers of alcohol. I know they're minors here because some of them were kids that I used to teach when I was in school. Okay, so someone's getting charged with an open house party today, second degree misdemeanor, all right? We're back in Florida for this next clip which starts with an officer breaking up a house party and scolding the partygoers for renting out an Airbnb and hosting a party that involves alcohol and minors. The officer even recognizes some of the teens from when he used to teach them at school. Footage shows tens, if not hundreds, of youths being made to leave the property, and the officer reveals that the homeowner called them because they received the complaint and had no idea that such a large party had been planned. Everybody go. Nope. nope, no, you're not. You're going out. Hey, Manora. Ten. Yo. You have to leave right now. Let's go. Everybody's got to go. Everybody's got to go. Everybody's got to go. Once the majority of the party goers have left, officers round up the organizers and warn them that they're going to be charged with an open house party, which is a second degree misdemeanor. Spelling or address, but I got I've got his deal. Ultimately, the main organizer is arrested and taken to the station. He pleaded not guilty to the charges, and a date was set for a pretrial hearing. Hey, I grab your phone. It's gonna come with you, okay? Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yep, give me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll work with you. I'll work with you. I got you. I'll work with you. It should be noted that the lead officer received a lot of praise for his handling of the situation, but what do you think? Despite how at home she looks, the lady sat on the couch in this clip is actually not the homeowner, nor is she even invited to the party. Apparently, she just forced her way in and demanded that the party end because they were playing loud music on a Tuesday after midnight. Hey, 
For context, it was a Valentine's Day party, a global holiday that celebrates women's friendship. Well, this woman certainly isn't winning any friends, and when the police arrive, it may well be her that leaves in cuffs due to her trespassing. If you're not going to be happy having a girl or a boy, then hosting a gender reveal party may not be the best idea. Oh, she really this woman was so upset at finding out her baby's gender, she chose to trash the event and end the party early. Apparently, she already had girls and wanted a boy. I didn't think she was for real. I wonder how her new daughter will feel if she ever sees this footage when she grows up. Illegal house parties have become more common in recent years, but here's a reminder that organizing one could get you into a lot of trouble. When 200 people gathered at a home that had been put up for sale, the two main organizers were arrested. Their party resulted in over $1,700 worth of damages, plus alcohol, marijuana, and broken glass were found scattered throughout the property. This led to the main organizer, a 21-year-old male, being charged with felony criminal damage, two counts of criminal trespass, disorderly conduct, contributing to the delinquency of a minor and criminal nuisance. No matter how good their night was, that's one almighty hangover to deal with. The Karen in this next clip used the same tactic as the one we saw earlier. As a family was enjoying a barbecue in their backyard, the neighbor began spraying water into their garden. No, your shit comes over you know, your shit came over our stuff. Just don't spray us. We have babies over here. You're a jackass. Feeling better? When confronted, she claimed that she was doing it to get rid of the grasshoppers, but it's clear from the way she carried on and wouldn't listen that she's just doing it to be a nuisance. Even when the family told her they had children in the yard, the neighbor continued and even began spraying water directly into the face of one of the family members, though he took it like a champion. This body cam footage was captured at a bar in Orlando, Florida. The officers approach a young woman who at first claims to be 21, the legal minimum drinking age in the United States. I, I'm trying to go home. I'm fine. Seriously, I'm seriously trying to get out I'm gonna write you a quick ticket okay. and I'll get you out of here. I'm not gonna arrest you. Okay. okay. Thank you. My right. friend has my keys though. Okay, well, you can go back in as far as no, I'm concerned. I, I can't find him, is my thing. Like, I don't even have my normal ID on me. Okay. However, the officer isn't fooled and escorts her outside where she admits that she's actually 18 and used a fake ID to get in. Options to take care of this? Okay. Uh, the first option is you can pay a fine. The second option is you can contest it, okay? okay? If you want to pay the fine, it's explained right here. I don't know the fine. You have to call the clerk of the court. Um, if you want to contest it, it's May 22nd, 8 a.m. at that location. What do you think happens if you ignore this? You get arrested. You're going to get... It doesn't, I have to call to find out how much it is? Yeah. She has issued a fine, and the officers confirm that she will be arrested if she fails to pay or contest it. 
Looks like the night is over for this party animal. A ticket where you can yeah. pay a fine is not it. Okay. Oh my goodness! Sometimes you can tell immediately who the troublemakers are. The look in this guy's eyes as he squares up to people at a pool party is scary. Apparently, he was swinging at people prior to this and it clearly looks like he's taken something. It's no surprise he was thrown out despite protesting his innocence. Good riddance, crazy guy. And there's this other black girl, she about to come in the frame going, Chow, what is this, honey? Another house party, another senseless shooting. These images were taken outside a house party in Brazoria County in Texas. Two people were injured and it's a blessing that there weren't more victims given the number of shots that could be heard. Guns and house parties do not mix. This group of people were hoping to enjoy some fireworks, but it ended up going terribly wrong. Their first mistake was lighting multiple fireworks at the same time. Even after retreating to a seemingly safe distance, some of them go back to check on the fireworks after they seem to have died out. But. More fireworks ignite, and this time, they shoot out in all directions much closer to the ground. The spectators are forced to flee, carrying small children, one of whom is in a wheelchair. Incredibly, the video's uploader claims it's the second year in a row they've experienced this type of thing. Perhaps they should learn from their mistakes and read the instructions more carefully. Last but not least, nobody was stopping this party bus in Chicago as it forced its way through traffic, hitting no less than 13 cars on the way. Oh shit, here we hey, go. Hey, 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 Keep backing hey, up, keep backing hey, up, my friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is he doing? He's stop. He's gonna hit you. Oh, he's gonna everyone hit brace, you. Everyone brace. No, I'm kidding. Just relax. Maybe the driver had been partying a little too hard and something tells me that when he did eventually stop. He wasn't allowed to party again on the road for a long time. The last we heard, the 45-year-old driver had been arrested and charges against him were pending. Oh, 